Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. So today I would like to paint a little bit and I am going to paint on different uh, papers. This is watercolor paper, this is watercolor paper, but I would like to paint on um, book pages and yeah, we will see where we go. And I want to go with these colors today. And I have seen, I have seen a technique that I have liked. So I'm gonna go, she was using, um, I think that she was using, um, how is it called? Watercolor, but I'm gonna use these acrylic paints. And I'm gonna water it down, and then I will bring you down so that you can see what we are. And I'm having this uh, fancy palette for my colors. <laughs> yes, it is a fancy palette, mm -hmm. and I think I need a another another brush i'm having one and i am going i'm gonna use this one also so you step aside sir and i'm having my uh, golds in here and the white and we will see how it goes we will see how it goes so let's water this down. Because I really want to see how they act when they are watered and how they move and what they do. Actually, yeah, so. I'm going to use these two brushes. Okay, this is watered. And I'm going to water this one up also. Mix it really well. I love this color. I really do. And when it is going to have the violet and the golds on it is gonna be it is gonna be nice i think and what she did was that she i'm gonna prepare some papers okay she was drawing with really wet paint some circles and I'm gonna try to mimic the circles. And I'm having a goober in there. Okay. Like that. Is it a circle? Barely, but. And let's make another one. And I think this is a really good creativity starter, you know. And then over this, over this wet paint, she was coming with another wet paint and she was creating those wet on wet effects. And as you can see, this paint is not moving much it is not moving too much so let me see what I can do and how I can convince it to move and this is precisely why I chose to use 
the water brush to move the paint around like this but actually to be honest I would have preferred it to be more wet I would have preferred it to be more wet and to see some movement around with the but I cannot convince it to move I cannot seem to convince it to move Yeah, it moves. Barely. It barely moves. And she obtained some really nice effects, but I don't seem to be able to obtain that kind of effect. Let me bring my... I will go ahead and continue, I'm not going to give up and I will use this pouring paint and let's see how it moves and it moves. It does move, so let's see. What effects do we obtain? Oopsie! <laughs> okay. What can I say? What can I say? Sometimes. Maybe it's the paper? I don't know. I honestly don't know, but they are gonna look... They are gonna look pretty and they are gonna make some interesting um, collage papers. Yes, and I would like to dry this a little bit. So, I didn't expect that, so this is why I don't have the heat gun prepared. This is what happens when you imagine that you can mimic what others do. absorb the water like that so this is gonna be my personal <sighs> approach to that technique Okay, so let's hope that we are not going to need that. Let me clean my brush and I'm going to change the technique. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a circle with water in here like that. And then I'm gonna come with the paint like so.
there you have it okay so now i'm gonna go with this one and i'm gonna yes now now we do have some some kind of movement some kind of sort of movement like that and then i am gonna come with this gold with this one and i'm gonna give it a wash like that and let's see what it happens Okay, I will leave it. I will leave it like that. And I'm gonna repeat. Until I'm gonna decide that I have understood how she did it. Because I have only seen the technique twice. Maybe the paints are not what they should be. Maybe I need more water. Like that. Is it a circle? Barely. It is barely a circle. And this, my dear friends, is the hazard um, art. Hazard, hazardous art. <laughs> yes. Like that. Enough with that. And with. Ooh, I have dip, dipped it too much in gold. Let's see what happens if we put some gold water in here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a a sheen. Gold sheen, not Martin sheen. And not even Charlie sheen. No. Okay. And I'm having space for one more, I think. And it is not by far not what I was expecting. Not what I was dreaming about, but... Could I try with some white? The white is pretty creamy and I don't know what it is going to happen if I come in with white. Like. I would have really liked to see the cauliflowering happening. But this is a creativity creativity exercise. So we are gonna keep exercising and we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let's take a little bit of paint. And just dab it in here, like so. 
dab 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 and try to create that circle like so and I am having in here some metallics and I haven't worked with them in ages and let's let's try and see this looks like a face a sad one, but a face. <laughs> yes, so let's see the metallics. Let, let's actually, let me bring them up. I am having that on this. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, let me put them back at their place. Because they live in here like that. Okay, cool. And now I will decide which one do I want. And I want the red one. And I am gonna... And it, it already goes because it stayed with the nose down. And it is going. It is going. And I'm gonna give it some water here so that it can... Can it? Will it? What you doing? What you doing? Nothing? Nothing, huh? Not much. Anyway. Let's make some circular movements. So that we can pretend that it flew it was flowing we can pretend that it was flowing like that and then i am going to come with i'm having a goal that i cannot stand <laughs> it is too yellow and i cannot i cannot so we can experience with it. <laughs> we can make experience with it. Experience with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, cannot talk today. I cannot talk today. Okay, so let's give it some water and some flowing flow. Okay, let's try to dry them <laughs> because drying them creates some effects. Come back. No, go back. So guys, I need your help to actually grow, to be honest, I need to grow and I need to gain some, some more subscribers and views. And for that, I need your help. You went bananas, didn't you? You are reaching for the stars, huh? Yeah, you are. 
and the paint has dried and the water is trapped inside. And to be honest, I kind of like this. What happens? I like what happens. <laughs> I'm chasing that drop. No. <sighs> okay. So again. <laughs> and again and again. And we are going to we are going to play with this concept. And yeah, this is what I'm gonna do today. I am gonna try again and again until until I manage to create a circle that I like. Yes, this is precisely what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and I will not give up. So I'm having a lot of water here. And then I'm gonna come with a with a this and I'm gonna leave it to do its job like that. And it already has some sheen but I'm gonna give it some some of this and this one is not coming out to play I'm gonna need a needle I need a needle to Open the nose like that, and let's see if now it works. Hopefully, oh, I have, I have made a stupid mistake. Never mind. This one is gonna be. I'm gonna create one. One that it is gonna be only this color because I have pierced the bottle with the needle and it's a, it it is now on my the the paint is on my wall. And I am upset um, not because of the wall, but I am upset uh, because I lost paint. This is why I am upset, to be honest. Yes, what? I'm doing stupid mistakes. That's why you are upset? Yeah. Look. I'm upset. <laughs> I am. I am upset. No, it's because I lost the paint. It's because I lost the paint. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Wait, excuse me. Oh, I have witnessed a moment of
love between Bonnie and my daughter. So, let's see what happens. I like this one. I like this most, the most. Yeah, look, look what it happens in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will put this aside and I will bring the other paper. Like this one. I am gonna fix it with some okay, tape that I don't like. And I'm gonna fix it on the table like this and hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Hope hopefully. Let's see where we go with these with these stupid circles. And yeah, when you try new things, you can get frustrated. There is nothing wrong in getting frustrated. It is actually good because frustration can bring and I don't know if I if I have used the right face but anyway we we will see we will see can you see yes yes you can see so I'm gonna put some water in here and I am gonna wet the Paper now it is wet. You can see it. It is wet and it is circle ish. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab some some of this thread and let's see what happens. Is it moving? No. I need more water, maybe, maybe I need more water, let's see, and I'm gonna come with the red around, like this, and at the school they are having a party they are always having a party I don't know what they are doing in that school but they are having parties okay and then I am gonna come with this one and I'm gonna give it Yes, now we are moving. I think it was the paper also. Because now it moves. The paint. As you can see. It moves. Okay. And then I am gonna give them... A little bit of white and I would have liked this white to be watery so let's put some white I really love this one I do love it And in the middle, do I want 
can a little bit like this. Because it looks too much like a like a ball. It looks like a ball, like a volleyball. Okay, so let's continue with this. And I'm gonna put water in here like that. And I'm gonna make a circle. And I'm gonna wet really well the paper now I'm gonna change I'm gonna come with this color and create the circle like that and like that Then okay, and I'm gonna encourage it to flow. the red one doesn't move so much it doesn't move as I expected it to move but I will encourage it to move And then in the middle, I would like it to be okay. And then I will grab some paint from my wall. it flow and like something around these lines Again, and this is how I learn about my brushes, my paints, how much water do I want, about the papers, of course. And 
I am exercising my hand at creating circles. No. Now, what if we create a circle um, with this, with this paint, with this flowing paint? It is a paint that it is used for. Uh, pouring technique or the pouring technique and I'm gonna it is barely visible and this would be nice on um, book papers mm -hmm. yeah. and let's see this one this one let's water it really well and maybe we make this one only metallics so and this one really doesn't flow it doesn't move it is a strong metallic one that doesn't want to flow but let's see what if we encourage it is it gonna no it is not it is not gonna anything but i am encourage it to everything And if this sparkles your inspiration and you go ahead and create something inspired by this video and by my clumsiness, you know, clumsiness can be inspiring. <laughs> Especially for me. For me, clumsiness is inspiring because when I see somebody clumsy, I imagine a lot of, um, yeah, look at this, <laughs> I can imagine a lot of um, ways of making that better, <laughs> I am, yes, and I don't know what this is going to be, but it is going to be a circle, it is going to be a circle, And it is going to be metallic and nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I am going to probably I don't know when to stop. And maybe I am going to, and this this is not going to be a circle. This is going to be an ellipse. Mm -hmm. And maybe I am going to dry them with a heat gun. And we are going to see how they look like. I want to put this one here. And I want to put this one here. For sure, I don't know when to stop, but 
this is how I'm learning. This is my learning process. <laughs> yes. That and I want a drop of water there. And a drop of water there. Excuse me. I think I have hit you. And now I'm gonna leave it to its business. And I'm gonna come back at this one. Can you see? Yes. Yes, you can see. And I don't know how it is, how you see it, but And now I'm gonna grab this one and give it a wash and it moves really well and I love the way that it moves for the moment. Let's not jinx it. Let's not jinx it. <laughs> like that. Okay. And it certainly becomes, starts to become a circle. Where's my, where is it at? My. And it is the position of the paper for sure, also. Okay, move on. Let's move on. Okay. And I am going to stay with the... with these colors. And with the golds and I know. I have made a boo boo in there. It is not important. Because anyway, these are going to be, how are they called? They are called collage papers. Yes. Called collage papers. And water to encourage the movement and then a little bit of that like so and in this corner a little bit water to encourage the flow like that and then I am gonna use this and this is what it happens when you open your paints over your project. They look interesting, they do. 
and I am going to complete this row with circles on this paper and I'm gonna move to the book pages. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move to the book pages and we will see what happens and how they act on the book page. So this is pretty wet but it is not it is not like a swamp. I haven't created a swamp, I have created only a puddle. Okay, and I would like to have a silver circle. Like that. And let me see if I like this silver. And the way that it moves. And am I gonna add a different color? Any different color in here? Maybe a little bit of that. A little bit, a little bit more. And that's it. That is gonna be it. And I'm having another metallic paint that it is pretty that it is pretty. And you can consider this as kind of a swatch. Kind of sort of a swatch. Yeah. You could consider it a kind of sort of a swatch. I'm having the red one I love the most, the metallic red one, but I'm having this green one. And let's see how it looks like. It is, oh, this one. This one is, see, this one I like. This one I really like. And I am going to come with this brush and let me let me see if it is clean. Let me clean it really well. And I am gonna Yeah, I see. You see what happens? Oh, this is what I wanted. Yes. Yes, this is what I wanted. This is the kind of movement that I was looking for. And on the paper in here, it is not wet, as wet as I would have liked it. And I am trying to make the this line a little bit more not so straight, you know, and defined. I want it a little bit more and now. If I would come with 
what color I would come if I would with this one. It doesn't happen anything. Okay, and now this this gold makes more sense to me because it already has some of that kind of This is by far my favorite, by far. Okay. So, now I am gonna give up on this paper and I don't know if I want to I am scared to move it but I will move it okay. and I like these halos that they create because of the water that is in here. And I like that. Ooh, I have, I have torn it. <laughs> Never mind. They are. They are collage papers after all. Okay, so let's bring in some book pages. And let's see what we can create in here. Some circles. We will create some circles, yes. Let's do that. But these are gonna be smaller, of course. These are gonna be smaller circles. And this is gonna be a How is it called? Collage papers. Yes, collage papers. This is how they are called. Collage papers. This is how they are called, collage papers.
and this is what I would have liked to see on the other paper but I haven't I haven't seen that I haven't seen that kind of movement and I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be serious and make circles but I don't know if I can manage to do that <laughs> to be seriously making circles there you go, circles and these are acrylics so when I am going to wet this paper it is not going to oh no i have mistakenly chosen the uh, they are water resistant so they are not going to be destroyed by whatever i am gonna put on them Yeah. this is a page and this is how you create you can create your own your your own um where's the book i took a page and i have thrown away the book what is that i don't know where the book is anyway let's continue Let's continue with the circles. And this time I am really gonna try to create circles. And by the end of this video, I would have managed to create a perfect circle, maybe. And these are going to be only... This color and yeah, I will continue to do this the entire day because I absolutely love it and I'm gonna grab a different paper, a different book page because I have promised to create. And this is a, oh no, not this one because it is a, this is the, Let's see what I can do. Because I wanted to create circles with this. With this one. Let's see. Let me... And in here it is written black on white. This is the name of the book, black on white. Yes. 
maybe the paper was white at one point, but not anymore. So let's see. Let's see. Low. And you see it, it gives a sheen, but you can see underneath it and it has this holographic uh, effect and it looks kind of fairy tailish. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe I am going to use this paint in my uh, notebook in the fairy tale book it is not quite fairy tale but maybe and i am gonna drive myself crazy with this small shapes and I have discovered that I am usually using small pieces of paper when I am collaging and this is not cool not cool at all So, excuse my chair, it makes noises, this is, it is what it is, I don't have a different one, and you will have to listen to it for a while, and maybe after the move, after the big move, I will buy myself a different chair, who knows. Okay, so this, this one is done. Let's try with this one. Let's try with the green one and see how, how it comes, how they go the, the circles. It looks nice. Can you see? I think you can. I think you can see. Okay, so let's try some bigger ones, some bigger circles. There we go. And these are acrylics too. They are not watercolors. They are acrylics. And could I try a bigger circle? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We will see on the next row if I can create bigger circles let me bring some water to my brush because it got a little bit dry and let's see can we make a bigger circle Not quite, not quite. I cannot make bigger, bigger circle, but I can try. 
and I like this effect that it is created because of the water and the color that breaks and it has that sheen Let me see where I can set them to dry because I don't have so much space around here. So this is gonna leave in here on the table for the moment, and when they are gonna be dried, I'm gonna show them to you. And I would like to bring a let's see. Let's try to make circuits on one of these. Oh no! Do we have to stay here and see her making circles on that big of a paper? No, you don't have to. Because I am not going to complete it. I am gonna play with it a little bit and then And then I will see what what else I am gonna do. And yes, you can hear you can hear voices around me. There is a this is it for today we have experience we have made some experiences with circles and with paints and let me oh my god see this is what i was looking for and It didn't happen. <laughs> so let's let's try again one more. It is gonna be wet, 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 and you probably know what wet, wet, wet was when we were young and kids that and then i'm gonna grab some bread i am not having water any longer i have consumed my water no more water in my A reservoir and I'm gonna fill it with water in case you want to. I'm telling you MacGyver was a crafter. Yeah he was <laughs> because we can MacGyver almost we crafters can MacGyver almost everything. Okay, and now because I'm having red on my brush, I am gonna, I am gonna paint with the red one. And come with the, this one and give it a, you know, like that. So oh, there you have it. This is it for today. We have created some um, uh, circles and yeah, and some how are they called? Some 
we have made some marks Wait, look mark making this is it and we are creating like this collage papers yes they are gonna make a some beautiful collage papers so when they are gonna be dry i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show them to you and this is gonna be it so i will see you again tomorrow and until then craft with joy bye all right guys so they are um dry and these are the after credits this is what um we have managed to create today yes they look like this i kind of like this one kind of sort of this one i'm not so sure but yeah and then these and they are looking like some planets <laughs> Yes, and the book pages, they are looking like this. This is the red and this is the violet. And these are the metallics. <laughs> and this one has had um, all kind of accidents happening to it. Look at this. But I, I really love this. This side I really love. Yes. And then there is this one. <laughs> and I have poured the, the paint that um, it has been left. And it created some halos in here. Some nice things and yeah and then there is the <clears throat> paper that I have cleaned my brushes on and it looks like that and like that yes and these and and these two so maybe, maybe, just maybe, I am going to scan them and I will create something with this. <laughs> so this was it, guys. I will see you again tomorrow. See you then. Bye.